Welcome to the Sky Podcast. Uh, I forgot. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> I always forget. My God, I think it's mom brain. Do you get that sometimes? Oh, all the time. All the time. Oh, grab it, no. How has like gets... having three kids affected your life? Because I only have one, and like I have no life. Uh-oh. Interested, <laughs> oh gamit to know. It gets easy. Yeah, 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 yeah. The first one will always be the hardest yes. one. Yes. Ah, talaga. Yeah. Why? Why? Yes. Okay, make us chica go. Why? Uh, go. Well, You're the mother. So. Because well, it's a first child, so mm. you don't know nothing yet, yeah. and then you make all your discoveries. Yep. And then um, yeah, like you sometimes you're you're too careful and. Hmm. Mas talaga noon, but mas nakakagula talaga yung first, and then the second the second one comes along, and then you realize because you've already been through it, hmm. it's not as nakakagulat, but you, but you still go through the whole. You don't get much sleep. You still mm-hmm. have to wake up numerous times at night. You still go through all of that. It's just because you've been through it before with the first child. Yeah. It's easier. It's Mentally. so much easier. Oh, and oh. physically as well, oh. because parang the body already. Was programmed and because you're coming from there. Kind of, you yeah. know what to expect. I think it's knowing what to expect, no? Yes, because, yeah. diba, sobrang nakakagula talaga when you have that first kid. It's literal. Your life really changes overnight. Yeah. Because walang sinabi yung when you're pregnant. Right. I mean, yeah, your belly grows, but like everything else in life is still pretty much the same, except you can't do the extreme stuff. Exactly. And you mm-hmm. just kind of have to be careful. You're like, you know, you can't. <laughs> it's so, heavy, whatever, no, it's whatever. so funny because. <laughs> Uh, just relating to Wanaka, which is pretty much our parang ano, uh, what? Kare- uh, yeah, common ground. Yeah, common ground. We were supposed to. We were supposed to. I uh, know. Uh, go. Uh, Fly back. No, we were go. This is the first. The first trip we signed uh, you up for skydiving. Ah uh, yes, mm. yes, yes. And then because yeah, you know, we found out she was pregnant. Like ah. Oh. Oh, and then the next one, parang, tama ba? The next one, parang, I was pregnant with Leon. Pregnant again with Leon. <laughs> yeah. Wow. And, uh, so I think parang, takot lang siya mag skydive kaya. Whatever, gusto mo mag skydive <laughs> New Zealand pa, hello. I know, oh, so my. beautiful. That was our dream, also, oh. right, yeah. love. We wanted to do it, pero my mom was like, "Don't do it yet. You're about to get married. That's bad luck." Tapos, ah. don't do it yet. You just got married. That's bad luck. <laughs> There's always a reason. Ah, yeah. Yes. 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 So it gives you a reason to go back and let right. know what we're going through. It's like, you know what? I'm not gonna wait. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. I'm, gonna, I'm sure in a minute, hopefully, you know, um, we can fly back there in like five years. Hopefully less than 10 years. We don't know. I just wanna, <laughs> we don't know. We don't know. <laughs> She's itching to leave already. <laughs> So both of you mostly are at home right now if there's no work, talaga. Uh well Ia Ia works from home pretty mm. much uh Monday to Friday. Yeah. Wow. She actually never stopped working. I was one of the lucky ones. She never stopped working. Um because she has the, the daily news show, diba? the the nightly news show for Bente Cuatro Horas. But it's filmed at home. Yeah, I just shoot from oh, home. Oh, oh. Because, of course, I had to shoot my travel show, which kind of stopped uh, for a few months. Uh, we resorted to shooting, you know, uh, a, a new show, uh, an entirely new show. Of course, me shooting here at home, interviewed, you know, a couple of people who got affected, siempre, mm. uh, with the pandemic and everything, um, their their lives, you know, students. Studying from home and other stuff, um, but then again, I think October and November we started resuming at the travel show again, but hindi na weekly basis at hindi na two days or three days in a week. At syempre, wala nang lipad lipad. Mm. Wala nang masyadong lipad lipad. Um, we we probably just featured like neighboring provinces na mm. pwedeng land trip. Yeah. Um, and then yeah. Uh, pretty much outdoor shoots, you know, like you know, uh, hike a mountain or feature a restaurant, pero al fresco. So, so that's that sort of thing. I'd still go out, but but yeah, in terms of work, yes. But in terms of like our hobbies, like you know, um, riding out uh, on a motorcycle. Actually, yeah, I didn't yeah. actually. But actually, you know, cycling. I mean, it's been a year. 
So it started with, you know, um, when Drew could hit the track, he would still ride his big bike out mm. And, mm. and hit the track. And then Nag evolved. Then he took up golf again. Mm. And so Napadang, that became his thing. So on his mm. free days, that's what he does. He'll he'll go out, go to the driving range or hit the fairway. Um, yung pagmomotor, hindi na nga masyado. Magmomotor na lang siya kapag may biyahe. Because mm. I have work. I have work. Uh, when he has work, because it, it's the uh, fastest and easiest way. Ako, I would say that I'm home most of the time. Mm. Kaya, the kids are not used to seeing me leave. Ah, <laughs> uh, so they became clingy. They became you. clingy and major. You know, you keep on saying that. Parang kung hindi ako to nagiging close ako ng anak ko at hindi siya. Sinasabi mo, sinasabi mo, sinasabi mo parati sa mga masalay, tao. Masalay, masalay. Ah, ano parati? Because Drew's always out. Masalay. Like, how can I be out all the time? I just leave like once in two weeks and I'm Mas, like out all the time. Masanay lang see? sila to see you leave. Okay. Mm. You know it. Kapag ako, ang hira. Parang... The, and and also because kabisado nani primo kung ano yung suot ko so he knows that if I'm home he knows what my home clothes look like right. so if I'm wearing uh, if I'm wearing something else it's and like anticipate na siya <laughs> alam niya so if kapag naka sports bra lang ako in shorts mama are you gonna work out in the other unit uh, yes love but kapag alam pag nakita niya panty. mama are you in your papa are you going to <laughs> <doing that? laughs> pero kapag naka tank top ako mm. alam niya Mama, are you going to run? Because I have a lot of clothes. Oh my top gosh, na that's so cute. But if I'm just top, he knows that I'm just going to be in the other unit. Kapag, He's right beside us, by the way. If I'm going to wear the clothes, he knows, Mama, where are you going? Are you going, are you going out? Are you Mama, going to work? Mama, it's not the clothes you're wearing. That's it. Mama, I think... I'm just going to be sad with Primo. I'm so sad actually. Because it's like, wow, he... He's just like Drew. Because Drew notices these... Darnest things. What? <laughs> and so Primo, like it's like, wow, oh my gosh, I didn't even realize that he was picking up on like what. Yeah, I think it's because yeah. whenever we'd go to outside, like ever since before restaurant or whatever, parang naririnig ko in conversations ng ng table na yan, yung table na yan. Sobra. Ba, alam ko yung mga bilis nila. Sabi ko, hindi ko pwede akong FBI ah. Yeah. Parang... <laughs> oh my gosh. Sobra. So wala kang takas iya kasi nakikita niya lahat. Yes. Hindi yeah. naman kailan. Diba? Although, yeah. Hindi naman ako tumatakas. Hindi naman tumatakas. Ako yung tumatakas pa. Yeah. We should ask them the perfect... An- ano, il- ilang anak ang sa tingin nyo saktong ano? Saktong Mahirap yan, tingla. bro. Mahirap yun. Yeah. Because... We thought... We said we were gonna be okay with two. Yeah, but at the same time, five kids eh. And even though like... Dude, my, my, my brother's nearly 50 years old. The next Ooh. one is 48. The next 46. I'm 42. Th- then sumunod, 32. So, kahit na sobrang layo, we are so close. Right. Kahit na iba pa, nasa states yung dalawa, and then yung isa nasa New Zealand, yung isa nasa ganyan. So, parang, it sobrang saya na marami kayo. Of course, mm. as siblings. Yeah. No? Pero syempre, when they were growing up, I'm sure, headache and sa parents. So, yeah. I guess, yun yung, yun yung babalik naming tanong eh. Parang, if, feeling ko, if you are, if you guys are ready to invest their early years talaga, na nandyan ka and nandyan yung, it has to be solid eh. It has right. to be solid. If not, it's all on you. The personality development of the kids. Yeah. It's gonna be Tata. all on you. Tata. And, and pinag-uusapan namin yun na parang, mm, we want more, we want more. At a certain point, we feel na, teka, we're being selfish na. Because mm. we feel that the more kids you have, siyempre, only, you need to give. Only two kids. Only two kids, no. We're, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that, that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, how many are there of you, love? Three, okay. Three, three pero sabi na kayo. <laughs> three. <laughs> so, yeah, we're gonna fix your mathematics. Um, but, but yeah, we were, we were talking about that. Pero, we need, we, we realized that you have to give quality time to each mm-hmm. one. So, mm. you know what I mean? And I'm sure, and I'm sure lahat, I mean, pagtanda na nila, di ba? Parang, ah, everything's all in, whatever. But, 
I, I'm thinking right now, lalo na with my with my siblings. Impos- eh, Siyempre, hindi naman naging perfect lahat, di ba? It's just yeah. that time spent with with your folks kasi is so golden. Mm. Di ba? It's part of your personality development. You know, uh, nurturing. Di ba? All that stuff is so important to be the best person you can be. So, wow. ilan nga? Lima. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, ang lalim na explanation ni Drew ang, ang, ang pero lima lang sa kanya. lima na <laughs> lima rin pa lang sorry sorry you're saying uh, Kayo. I, I was saying na ang lalim na explanation mo I was telling Chris na dapat dalawa lang para when we go out and travel sa hotel kasya tayo ng isang kwarto <laughs> yun lang yung reason you know what we went we, we went through yeah. all of that Good. Absolutely. <laughs> we were thinking the exact same thing exact same thing exact same thing but uh well, I, um, the question is, kaya nyo ba huminto sa dalawa? Mm. Mm. Si Chris wants three, di ba? I don't know. Wait, how how young first. are you guys? How young are you guys? I'm, I'm 30. I'm, th- I'm 31. <laughs> I'm 37. <laughs> so. You you know, when you get to pa. three, pa. it'll be so easy to consider a fourth and then a fifth, a sixth. Get Ooh. to three and then it's like, Oh, but give me more. Oh, dito mo kita mo it lang. Yes, yes. It's so easy naman to make babies, di ba? It's yeah, you know, birds and the bees. <laughs> but you know, after after that, after that is what's a bit complex, di ba? I mean, it's not just, sure, you know, financial aspect mm. plays yeah. an important role, but you know, the emotional aspect also. The emotional investment, yun, importante yun talaga, feeling ko. And another thing, another major thing that I really want to be able to do with my kids is I really want to be able to travel. Because as mm. a kid, I realized that I never really got to travel. Mm. So I feel that, you know, and, and I feel that traveling does so much um, in raising a child. Yeah. I feel that there is so, there's so much that they, they can learn um, in other like there, there's so much that they can pick up and learn mm. um when they're in other parts of the world Absolutely. mingling with other with different races different right. people different Absolutely. faces so that's what i want to be able to do with with my kids and yeah if we have too many mahirap na mag bumili ng mga flights at tinutukoy kasi mahal na yan guys that's just an aspect but mm. it's but, definitely something that we consider though right right but we're we're very good with three now <laughs> well, hindi kaya nahirapan ngayon na homeschooled lahat. They don't have a lot of social interaction. Because that's what I'm scared of with Scott. Eh. Yeah, how is it like having three kids? No, no, no. It's like, <laughs> it's, 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 no, it's like this. Even before the pandemic, even before the lockdown, I actually was talking to Ia about, hey, why not? Okay, this is how I feel. No? Um Mm-mm. Uh, and I've, I, I, you know, I've, I've pretty much shared this. Okay, pause. Okay, go. First of all, I was looking into homeschooling the kids. Mm. At first, it was just me, and then I don't know what it was that drew. Oh, I thought I was the first one. No, it was mm. me. It was, <laughs> no, it was me, and you now weren't so sure now about it. Eh. No, no, no. Cause it, and then you discovered something. Was it a podcast that you were listening to, no, no. or? Hmm. Okay, might be the different uh, no, story. But anyway, um, uh, my my view, kasi is, uh, you know, I, I have nothing against ano naman, you know, uh, the schools that I came from. Uh, I, I studied in Savior, and then of course, I have so many Savior friends. It's like so many alam, good Savior memories. So many great Savior memories. Uh, yes, then you know, went to La Salle for college. Also great memories. But then, isip ko, teka lang, ano nga bang natutunan ko? <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 I mean, uh, of course, I, I, kasi, okay, so, so many things. Of course, great memories with fellow, fellow uh, classmates and, and whatnot, but I feel that you don't need to just, you, you don't need to isolate yourself in school to learn. Parang, learning mm. is everyday. Eh. And mm. because of good, 
because of Google. And there are actually more effective ways of learning. You can just mm. Google your diba? YouTube University. I mean, right. Yep. Uh, you you can actually do your own screening. Parang ako feeling ko I wasted so much time learning stuff that I'm not interested in. So I kind of kind of, you know, I wasted a lot of time and I wasted my folks money, diba? Because of that. And I just feel that most schools are ano ba to? Hindi siya personalized, eh, diba? Right. Parang ano siya eh. Ito, one size fits all. Uh, yeah. Alin nyo lahat yan. Templated. Template. Curriculum, that's it. Fit uh, in or get out. Exactly. If you if you fail in one, ano, ay nako, you're not that smart pala. Mm. But it's, it shouldn't be the case. I was, I keep on telling this to... to and that's like the standard of who? Mm. Right. Yeah. Society. Uh-oh. Diba? That's, that's mm. society. So, yeah. um... I, I keep on making this point to to some close friends because I was able to, you know, during my travels and I'm so happy that I've been doing the travel show for like 16 years because meeting so many people oh, from different years. backgrounds, it's for me, that's yes. knowledge. That's and, knowledge. Mm. And, and this is why I want my kids to travel and mm. learn with Drew because I feel like it's it's like the it's, best way yeah, where you can learn. And dami kong like and dami kong eye opener like for example nga when I when I spoke to this this uh, parang farmer uh he who used to be like a school teacher a uh, public school teacher and uh so uh, after how many years of course he's not a school teacher anymore this kid not really kid anymore but probably 20 years old comes up to him and says sir you still remember me he's like oh, I don't remember. sir I'm whatever Roger I'm from your class, Kenya. Oh yes. And then the, the this farmer who was a teacher before remembered ah oh, this kid. This kid used to fail in all the classes. Science, math, whatever. And we thought, we thought he was, of course, quote unquote, uh, Bobo. He's mm-hmm. not smart, ganyan. Tapos nalaman niya, he's a tattoo artist. Mm. Now, now, and he remembered that back in the day, that child, that student, just kept Always on doodle. drawing and drawing. Mm. So, na isip niya, oh no, what if I just honed that skill and actually pushed for the arts? Right, yeah. right. So maybe he could have been, you know, even uh, better, even oh. better. Right, right. What ev- what, what, no, whatever, whatever diba? Right. So, parang, that is a great example. I feel that that's a great example na y- yun yung society. That's what society dictates na everything. Oh, you gotta follow the, you gotta follow the, all the sheep. Right, yes, <laughs> exactly. Diba? Because you have to, you, you have, you need a great education to land a job. Right. Or you need, a, you know, a diploma to land a job. I, I have to say, syempre, you have, you know, law, you have medicine, you have you know, architecture and everything. Yan. It, that, that's awesome that one can can actually, you know, go to school and which actually can can also be learned then from the internet, actually. Diba? Everything can be learned from the internet. Yes. Point. Tama. But anyway, yun lang yung ano ko, yun lang yung parang piece of parang experience ko and information that was so important that stuck with, that stuck with me and t- until now it still resonates na really made an impact that oh, you know oh, you can no. focus on on something that really interests the child yeah mm. that's and why then, that's yeah. why my our main goal is for for the kids to learn as soon as possible what they want to do and what life. makes them happy mm. what makes them happy mm. hindi na yung tipong diba di, parang oh I'm gonna work. I'm gonna work my ass off, and then para fifty years old, I can retire. That yeah. shouldn't be the Wala case. Yeah. That shouldn't be the case. You need if you if you love what you're doing, then maybe you don't have to retire. You know uh-huh. what I mean? Because when you love what you're doing, maybe you're successful with that na, and then with 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 your success, you will have ample time with other facets in your life, family, mm. you know, your hobbies. So, Hindi lang yung parang Money, money. Right. Yeah. They're having fun. Eh, so, Tata. I think similar yeah. talaga tayo ng concept with them. No? Si Chris was just talking about this. Na parang, School kills creativity. Oh. <laughs> I keep saying. Because <laughs> yeah. they put you in a box. And instead of yeah. like, yeah. 
instead of like you seeing how to use this item in so many different ways and then the school tells you no eto lang eto lang ang yeah yeah, yeah exactly so yeah, your then, kids aren't going to school now no <laughs> actually well prima because is just about to turn five this year Mm. And um, okay. actually, you know, the one thing that kind of scares me about homeschooling, which is why I, I don't know, I feel I have, I'm, I'm more mixed emotions about it. I mean, I know it's something that I want for my kids. But it's scary. But sometimes I don't know if I can Because it's typical, yeah. Right, right. I don't know if I can commit because, you know, I, and I can't help but, you know, when I'm, when, I, when I'm on my Instagram and then I see, um, I see other kids, oh, nakakapagbasa na, oh, wow, they can write na. And then I have to like, and then when I tell Drew, Drew's like, love. Never compare. Yeah, don't right. compare. Yeah. You know, so it's like, okay, okay, he doesn't have to be reading right now. Okay, he doesn't have to be writing right now. Mm-hmm. So yeah, I mean, sometimes I, it's like, I don't know if I can commit to being that parent that can sit down and, because it's still schooling, but right. at home. Right. You know, there yeah. were, I guess there are different types of homeschooling. And right. Drew was looking at this one called um, unschooling. Right, uh, homeschooling is, and unschooling, they're pretty much two different ano, ano, types of ano. of course we we're not we're not even touching the the surface of of unschooling yet but the, the parang the general idea is uh everyone's learning naman every day eh. mm. parang kahit na wala sa school kahit na walang curriculum kahit walang libro when you go outside and just like meet people from different you know cultures talk to them go to the farm Go to wherever you're constantly learning, yeah. getting pieces of information. You know, uh, so that's also one one side of it. Yeah. Um, uh, of course. So, yeah. We're like I I still have to look into you know what kind of homeschooling we'll be doing because you know mm. it's, it's hard then with the kids here because you know sometimes you also you'll also come across kids where you know a, a regular school setup might be effective for them. Maybe right. they need to be amongst Correct. other kids. You know, right. so I mean, Drew and I also respect that. Should one day Prima decide to, I, Mama, you know, I wanna, I wanna go to school. Absolutely, game. Okay, right, then fine. Go. But so mm. what we want, what we want to achieve is we want our children to want to learn. Right. Right. Whatever it is that they want to learn, but we want them to want to learn. It's like this. Mm. I, man, every single day you go to school and like, oh, I go to school again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but when I got got old. And when I want to learn something, you're like, I want yeah. to learn. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. Because yeah. right. you want yeah. to learn something like, like oh, yeah. videography. Oh. Or you want mm. to learn, oh, no. Yes, I want to know how to yes. edit videos. And then, right. you know, and then there you are spending all your time. Spending you know, hours when you, because you want to. Yes, when mm. you want to, it comes naturally. Mm. And you don't need anyone to tell you, you need to sit down and do this. Right. You know, so th- we're hoping that, that that's something that uh, our kids will 